All right, man. Controversy's the middle name of the podcast. The Controversy Sweep. <laughs> Speaking of controversies, we saw Drake Bell in Garland, Texas. Sunny Garland, Texas, of all places. In a converted storage facility. Yes. That still is labeled that storage facility. And still very much has the storage facility in the back. Yeah, and you can kind of tell because the door is just a storage door with, like curtains on it yeah they did have a hideaway hallway that apparently was a long ass hallway none of us actually went in it no but i did go into the uh employee area <laughs> right which i kind of was curious what it looked like in there but i didn't oh it looked like there. a home oh for real i didn't yeah. i didn't go inside of there so it it looked like an apartment right basically it looked like a, a living room and it had a bathroom that was a bathroom bathroom like not a bathroom for a place of business it had like a shower Do you one think one of them actually lived there I don't know. What I think happened was when they had somebody contracted to build it, the people they contracted built homes, mm. not studio. <laughs> right. But I mean, and, and nevertheless, the setup was nice, though. It was a nice place. Like, I actually liked it. It was nice. It was very oh, yeah. intimate, very the, small. The only thing is because it was a storage facility, the door was a giant square cutout with just curtains. So even though the AC ran really well... It was hot. <laughs> there was no insulation. That was a big ass. And it was, what, 100 and some degrees outside at that point? Yeah, Drake Bell was like, it is hot in Texas. Right. Uh, and I kept just screaming at him in Spanish. Right. And but I actually don't know where he's from. I don't either, but he speaks Spanish. Kind of. No, he he has whole albums in Spanish. Yeah, but yeah, no, nah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. I, I got my opinion on that one. <laughs> All right. Because I even told him, I was like, uh, Viva la Teas, Teas Espanol, no es inglés. Mm. I wanted him to do Spanish songs. He only did one. You had to look up the lyrics. Exactly. That, but, yeah. <laughs> like, you could clearly see there were Spanish people there. Yeah, yeah, there was. There was, like, older Spanish people, too. And I was like, why are you only doing English songs? Like, you're in Texas. Like, right. Two places, well, maybe Florida, but basically, if you're in Texas or California, if you do both English and Spanish, you should be doing Spanish songs. Well, you, If you're Florida, in New York, that's yeah. different. Florida, yes. Uh, actually, Florida, too. You got to remember the south of Florida is like basically fucking Puerto Rico. Yeah, I guess it oh, just no, depends it's where Cuba. you're at. Cuba. Cuba. Yeah. It's actually talk about it. Guys from Miami are like, in Miami, they're the only place in America you could literally go blocks without hearing English, period. No, oh, well. No one speaks English. Yeah. Everyone's speaking Spanish. New Mexico and Arizona, but there's not really a lot of music being used there. No. But uh, it was kind of interesting because they had, uh, for one, the first act canceled, which was, I forgot who that was. Somebody, but the owner of the place played. The the, the manager played. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. he was actually pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, he just forgot a lot of his lyrics because right, he hasn't played in so long. Exactly. And then they had, was it uh, that one dude that brought his own frat party? That guy was cool. I took a picture with him. Yeah. So that's how I got into the back. So what happened was, is this guy was like taking pictures with everybody, the second act. All right. And I wanted to take a photo with him. So he like kind of opened the door like to escape, but he really couldn't. So I was kind of leaning up against the door, propping it open. And one of those staff was like, oh, bro, you got the door. I appreciate it. I'm going to go back to the bag. Okay, man. (laughs) So once he got in, I just like closed the door and followed him in like I was part of the staff. Walked in, sat down, started scrolling through my phone, and everybody acted like I belonged there. (laughs) Yeah, not gonna lie. It was it was it was a pretty unorganized event. That's how Don blended in. <laughs> Anthony was like, "Are you in the back?" And I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Is Drake Bell there?" I was like, "No," because I went to the VIP room, which right. is extremely nice. The VIP room has a giant English flag carpet on the ground. Mm-hmm. It has a futon. It has a whole desktop, Windows Eleven, mm-hmm. sitting on on a desk with a with a desk chair. It has sweet snacks, waters, mini fridge. Mm. It's a nice VIP room. And then we do that. And I just kind of chill there for a while. I'm missing like all the acts. Because I'm just like, I mean, I really don't care besides Drake Bell. Right. I think you missed most of, was it Vanilla and Pepper? Yeah, I saw the half part of them. Yeah. Right. Which they were really cool. She was really pretty, by the way. She was very pretty. Yeah. And he is very ugly. He's very ugly. <laughs> Actually, what's funny is... He, I, he's a really good, cool no, guy. No, he's, he's a cool guy. Yeah. Actually, so funny part was I watched them. I thought their act was... I thought they were great. Uh-huh. I actually, So they were standing in the back. Which, by the way, when we went there to buy anything, we found out they couldn't sell anything. So basically, we got like liquor on the super cheap because we just gave them a dollar and they had to give us whatever they wanted. Whatever we wanted. Yeah. No, we weren't. It was a donation. It wasn't that cheap. But we were doing like $5 per 
two bottles. Right, but we so were but we the, get two white claws. But for what five what bucks. venue can you drink that? Yeah, exactly. for that price. But anyways, we do that, and actually they were standing back there, so I went and talked to him. I was like, hey, you know, you did a great job, and I was talking to both of them, and uh, then I asked him. I said, where's Drake? He's not here, is he? They were like, no. They were actually they were like, no. Actually, he doesn't want to leave his hotel room. They actually had to send a car to go get him to drag him out of his hotel room. Yeah. And jokingly, I was like, oh, is he at the King's Inn? <laughs> like the shitty hotel on like the, the highway. They were like, no, I think he's at like the the Hilton something something. I was like, oh, I was like, is he big time in y'all? <laughs> and uh, they were like, I think so. <laughs> yeah, he basically pulled in at the last moment. I still have my wristband. I ended up putting my wristband in my pocket because I was trying to be <laughs> employee. You were trying to be an employee, yeah. And, and another thing is I went to the back room where the talent was and I was like, Y'all good? Can I get you anything? <laughs> <laughs> he really played this up, guys. And, well, I wasn't trying to. It was all a mistake until that happened. But then there was one guy there in a cowboy hat. And he was like, man, I really recognize you. And I'm like, oh, well. I remember the cowboy hat guy. It's uh, it's all done. And he's like, no, man, I, I've definitely seen you before. <laughs> and I, I told this story to effing Efford. And he was like, oh, that's definitely like speech 100. You know, the meme yeah. And I was like, yeah, I think it was like in January, like, or uh, Oklahoma or something. He's like, oh, you're right. We were at blah, blah, blah venue. You were my handler, bro. I was so like hyped up on Percocets. And I was like, yeah, me too. And he's yeah. like, bro, I never forget a face. I <laughs> I tell people this all the time. I said, I have a friend that gets into situations that I'll never understand how he does these things. <laughs> Accidents. It, it just happens. And like, I was like, I, I just, you know... At the end of the day, when we're old, fucking decrepit, probably on our deathbed, we're going to have very interesting fucking stories because of this shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, the only reason I took the opportunity to go into the back is because I thought Drake Bell was there, but he wasn't. So you played yourself. Yeah, I did play myself. Uh, I'm just glad you're a good bullshitter. I, yeah. And especially being that intoxicated. And even uh, Sugar and Pepper or whatever, they were like, can we get you anything? I was like, I'll take a Coke or something. I just started pouring whiskey in it. <laughs> Yeah, I, it, yeah, I was I was a little bit more inebriated than I I, I like to care to admit, but I was I was fine though. Like <laughs> yeah, I didn't forget I'm... nothing. I I wasn't I wasn't bad. I wasn't as bad as Don and see me. I was I was I was tipsy, but here lately I've been keeping that under control, so yeah. I've been able to drink like we did there, and I was I was fine. Well, you even denied the last Heineken. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I I yeah I decided not to. But um, when Drake actually started performing, it was weird. I, I maybe it was the liquor talking. I don't know. I had a really mixed feelings watching him, like really bad, to the point where I know the whole time I was mean mugging him, and he noticed. <laughs> Bro, I looked like I was probably going to jump on that stage and murder him. Yeah, you said you you didn't like him because you felt broken, but he is broken though. No, yeah, no, that's what it, that's what it to me like. So all the other bands I liked him, they felt good, but when he got up there, it's just someone that I know he's had a lot of controversy. If it's true or not, that's not my concern, anyways. But yeah, you know he's going through a lot. Even the guy he did Drake and Josh with, Josh Peck, wants nothing to do with him anymore. Like right. And, you know, he just had a son, too, which actually I didn't know until recently. He just had a son. Nobody else a, did. Yeah. He has a wife, too. Which yeah, is nobody also else did. No one ever, I, they told me that, too, when I talked to Vanilla and Pepper. Or, yeah. yeah, Vanilla and Pepper. They were like, yeah, no, he's over there with his wife. I said, what? He got a wife? <laughs> they, they looked at me, and I was like... I was like, I didn't know. They said, we didn't either. <laughs> so, um, but and, and the thing is, he only played there because he has nowhere else to go. Right. So that's what sucks. Yeah. And so when he started playing and like how I just felt about things is like everything I know he's going through, he seems broken and in a way somewhat desperate. And just listening to this guy that I used to watch, I wasn't a big fan of Drake and Josh. I just kind of watched every now and again. Yeah. And that's the thing too, is I noticed that too, is a lot of the songs he was playing since I, I didn't really grow up with cable and didn't have cable back then. I didn't know a bunch of those songs and stuff like that, but I knew kind of some of them. Yeah. But just listening to him sing songs that are damn near 15 years old. Yeah. And so just. I started listening to prepare for the concert like the yeah. best of Drake, and it was a lot of older songs. That's why I was like, why are you not playing some of your Spanish stuff? His Spanish stuff's super popular. Right. And he did play like one of them. Only because I said something right. in Spanish, and he told me Cayete. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he did do the Drake and Josh intro at the very end. Yeah, he did. And it just, to me, I don't know. It just. He just. Uh, it just, it was very odd for me and just, um, you know, cause we went on a whim anyways and yeah. just, I, I don't, I don't think it was the best showing for him and just for me, it wasn't a great look on him. I just, I just did not like his performance at all. Yeah. The, my biggest thing is I probably never see Drug Bell again. So I was like, I have to take the opportunity. Right. Cause I did watch Drug and Josh just like you and it's, it's cool to see him in person. I mean, you, you know, know otherwise I would probably see him at like Comic Con yeah, or something. This is how much I was not, I, I did not like, I did not like him that much is I really haven't told anyone I went. <laughs> 
Wow. Not hardly anybody. Though I was listening to like the videos that I took and he can sing really well. No, he wasn't a bad singer. He really wasn't. He really wasn't. He was good. Also, by the way, those pictures we saw of him and the pictures I've seen recently, I don't know whether it was a lighting or he had makeup on. He looked a lot better on stage than he did in pictures. But he doesn't look bad, though. Like, to me, he yeah. didn't look bad. I mean, also, we're looking on him with, like, I guess, favorable lighting. Yeah. So, But his recent photos, he looks like he's, like, 45. Yeah. But he's not really that old. He's 34. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm about to be 32, so. He needs to stop buying NFTs. Maybe that's the problem. Bro, I still don't really understand NFTs. <laughs> I don't even want to go I into I don't right really now. understand them. But I, I did get to meet him. I got the VIP whatever. Not a very big guy, neither. And <clears> I got an <throat> autographed poster, and he's like, what's your name? I was like, Don, but you can call me Daddy. And everybody was, like, just looking at me, and one of the girls in line was like, I like how you say that with such confidence. And I was like, yeah, I got more than just confidence. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, and then we took the photo. Right. It was a cool experience. Interesting night. I'm so upset with myself. The next night, so he stayed one more night in Garland. The uh-huh. next night after the concert, he went to Deep Ellum. Oh, shit. I, I was that. like, yeah. We- I bet that was trippy. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know about this. I didn't either until afterwards. I was like, wow. Oh, and Drake Bell ended up retweeting my, like, pictures and stuff. Yeah. So at the very end, he had, like, a sweat rag that they gave him. I still was confused about that. <laughs> that was funny. So somebody way in the back was like, can I have your sweat rag? And he's like, sure. Looks me dead in the eye in the front row, throws it to me, hits my face, and he's like, there. Like, I'm the one that said it. <laughs> it was not the most impressive throw, neither. It was like a kind of like, it wasn't even like a throw, like... Behind the head throw, it was like, like, I'm going to bend my elbow and toss it down like this. And then you're like, <laughs> that's exactly what you did. You caught it. And you looked around, you're like, oh, hell. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, was, it, it, it was very, very boring. Oh, it was. It was very boring. It's going to But if you look inside, I'm sure you'll find Over your shoulder, you know that I told you I'd always be 